Hello everyone. So I know that there has been some questions and some confusion about shields on castles in Atlas. So I thought I would go through a demonstration of exactly what the shield is there for and why you do not want to let it bubble all the time. For some background here, uh, this is one of our castles. And if we go into it, now this is the shield right here. This says that there are 72.8k troops to be destroyed before it is triggered. This is what we mean by bubble. If it is triggered, it will bubble, it will put the shield up. Once that shield goes up, depending on the castle type, you have anywhere from a couple of hours to tw to 24 hours to wait out the shield before it goes down on its own or you can bring it down manually then you have a cooldown you know the tier of your castle will depend on how long that cooldown is in this case we have a tier 2 castle and tier 2 castles have a 3 hour cooldown if it was a tier 3, you would have a 6 hour cooldown. Tier 4, I believe it's a 12 hour cooldown. I'm not too sure on that one. And each one gets consecutively less time the shield is up. So this tier 2, the shield will be active for 24 hours. At tier 3, the shield will be active for 12 hours. Okay. The shield, as I said before, takes so much damage after you lose so many troops in this case 72.8k troops the shield will be triggered normally you do not want that in this case i'll go back out here this is a entrance castle so you can see it is off of a neutral zone these are prime targets for snipers Anytime that you have an entrance castle, you will get sniped, regardless of who you are. You will get it. Some more than others. You do not, do not bubble to snipers. If you have people on, you do not want to let this bubble. You want to drop the shield and then fight back. You want to defend your castle. But if you cannot defend, let it bubble. That is what it's there for. You want it to bubble if you cannot actively defend your castle. We have been pretty good about not letting our castles bubble unless we get overwhelmed. Even then, we'll call in ally help. Okay, so now, I have gone over why you want to let it bubble and how you want to not let it bubble. So, how do you not allow it to bubble? You do that by disabling it. So we'll go back into the fort. Go back in. And you want to click on disable shield. When you do that, you will see that there is a block, uh, you know, a warning, of course. You know, it's susceptible to attack, blah, blah, blah. We know this. Click on yes. The shield will now be disabled. Which means that any attacks that you get coming in will not count towards that limit. To demonstrate this, I have set up a set of attack just to illustrate why you want to do this. So first of all, I'm going to re-enable the shield. If you're not in cooldown, you can enable and disable as much as you want. Let's make note of this. We have 72.8k troops until bubble. There they are. There we go. 
So I was attacked, I earned glory. So now let's go look at the shield. Go back into the fort. You notice now that it's gone down. Now we're at 70.4k troops. So, once we lose as a team 74.k troops or guards, then the shield will activate and we will be bubbled. So let's go ahead and disable the shield. There she is. I asked her to hit me one more time. There we go. I earned some glory. And I was freed. Okay, so now that that has been done, let me first go ahead and uh, show you how much troops I actually lost. Okay, so I lost 2.3 in the first one, and I lost 5.1 in the second one. Okay. So, we were at 70-something earlier. With the shield disabled, when I re-enable the shield, you will notice the amount stayed the same. We still have 70.5k troops to go. So, by disabling the shield, we stopped the bubble and that is what we wanted to do and it's always good to keep the shield up unless you get a hit and then you realize oh i need to go and disable it and any marshal can disable the shield any governor can disable the shield or any officer or later of course can disable any shield on any castle the governor and the marshal is castle specific. I hope that answers any questions about shield use. So, happy flying, and I'll see ya.